Ever since people started to know about space, people have been intrigued. According to some people, Earth was the center of our solar system or the entire universe, and other planets, including the Sun, are orbiting our Earth. Later, however, this misconception was rejected by many scientists. When people started seeing these planets through telescopes, then they began to imagine in their mind what could be the surface of these planets. Now with advanced technology, we know what these planets might be like. Today, we will know all these planets more closely and I will show you all the pictures that amaze astronomers and you have never seen these pictures before. Sun is the center of our solar system. Its diameter is about 1.4 million kilometers. This is what the Sun looks like from Earth. Now 24 hours, NASA monitors various movements of the Sun. There are currently about 19 active missiles to the Sun. NASA has plans for 13 more missiles to the Sun in the future. Anyway, the first mission to the Sun took place on March 25, 1951, and it was the first satellite to measure the shock wave from the solar flare. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory captured this on April 17, 2016. On July 19, 2012, a medium-sized flare formed on the Sun. But most of all, amazing, beautiful, and terrifying. On August 31, 2012, solar material sped away from the Sun at about 900 miles per second. You can see it here. The next one is Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system. The Mercury has a distance from Sun is about 46.703 million kilometers. Not only smallest, the closest planet to the Sun also. The first spacecraft to visit Mercury is NASA's Mariner 10, and that's where Mariner 10 was captured. Mariner 10 about 45% was able to photograph Mercury. But currently, according to scientists, Mariner 10 is orbiting the Sun. However, this satellite is almost dead as its electronic devices have all been destroyed by the sun's radiation. So it is almost impossible to find it now because it was never found again after communication was lost. NASA's messenger spacecraft flew by Mercury three times and orbited the planet for four years before crashing on its surface at the end of this mission. Its purpose was to map Mercury. This is the largest crater on Mercury, known as Calories Basin. It's about 300 kilometers in diameter. There is currently only one mission active on Mercury, known as Bepi Colombo. Bepi Colombo took this image of Mercury. The next planet is my favorite planet, Venus, or also known as Twin Sister of Earth, located about 61 million kilometers away from Earth and 107.62 million kilometers from the Sun, the hottest planet in the solar system. To date, we have sent over 40 spacecraft to Venus. The first spacecraft was seen in 1961, but unfortunately it failed. But after many failures, Mariner 2 reached Venus first in 1962, and this is the first image of Venus. After that, Venera 13, the first lander to touch Venus, was a Soviet Union lander, which touched Venus on 1st March 1982. The lander was designed to survive temperature of 580 degrees Celsius. It lasted for more than two hours in the heated environment after touching the ground. Then it sends various images, and it is understood that Venus is not for humans. The surface temperature of Venus is about 475 degrees Celsius. After this, many more missions have been made to Venus. From them, we got these pictures. Three more missions to Venus are planned in the future. Our next planet is our home Earth, and the most beautiful until date, there is only life here in the universe. Earth is about 151.99 million kilometers away from Sun. There are almost 9,900 active satellites orbiting the Earth. So here is some pictures you need to see. This is the first photo of planet Earth on October 24, 1946. Over the past 60 years, astronaut took 1.5 million photos of Earth from International Space Station and other spacecraft. Here are some beautiful pictures of Earth. This picture is known as the Blue Marble. This photo is taken on December 7, 1972, from a distance of around 29,400 kilometers above the surface of Earth. On December 5, 2012, NASA released a nighttime view of Earth, what is also known as Black Marble. Our next planet is Mars. Mars is 228 million kilometers away from Sun. Currently, there are 14 known artificial satellites orbiting the Mars. On July 20, 1976, Viking 1 landed touchdown on Mars and this is the first image of Mars. Many of us have a lot of interest in Mars. Mars is very much like Earth. 
so there is a lot of thinking about whether human can colonize there or not. NASA's Mariner 4 was first craft to finally reach Mars on 28 November 1964. To date, NASA sent five rovers on Mars. The first one is Sojourner, and this is the image it takes. After that, NASA sent more rovers like Spirit, Curiosity, Opportunity. And this is all the pictures it takes. Very beautiful, right? Not only Mars, but also satellites of this planet are photographed. NASA is now preparing to send fast humans to Mars. Our next planet is Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is 778 million kilometers away from Sun. NASA's Pioneer 10, 11, and Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 was the first flyby mission to Jupiter in 1970s. There are 8 past missions on Jupiter. And currently, while making this video, ESS Juice mission is on the way to Jupiter. It will reach to Jupiter by 2031. This is the image of Jupiter's North Pole, where you can see 8 storms swirling around its center. Also, scientists don't know why this storm is created. On July 10, 2017, Juno spacecraft first take closest image of the Great Red Spot. A storm has been raging for 350 years and is so big it will swallow the whole world. But this storm is getting smaller. This is the cloud system in Northern Hemisphere captured by Juno spacecraft. NASA's next mission to Jupiter is Europa Clipper, which will launch on October 2024 and it will reach to the Jupiter on 2030. Our next planet is Saturn, the beautiful planet in our solar system and also my favorite. Saturn's distance from Sun is 1.40 billion kilometers. Saturn was first written about in 700 BCE, describing it as a beautiful ring planet. NASA's Pioneer 11 provided the first look in September 1979. Then two NASA spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 took beautiful picture of it. But in 2004, Cassini was the first to take the most beautiful detailed images of the planet. For more than a decade, Cassini sent us some wonderful images. Take a look about those images. Cassini ends his mission, plunge into the Saturn's atmosphere. This is the hexagonal storm on the Saturn's North Pole. And now currently, there is no future mission to the Saturn. Our next planet is Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, with a distance of about 2.9 billion kilometers. Uranus mainly shines colored ice giant, with a radius of 25,362 kilometers. First NASA mission to Uranus is Voyager 2 mission. And this is the only mission that happened. After traveling more than 1.8 billion kilometers in 9 years, Voyager 2 gathered some critical information about Uranus. Voyager 2 discovered 10 new moons, 2 new rings and stronger magnetic field than Saturn. Anyway, moving to our next planet and the last planet in our solar system is Neptune, 4.5 billion kilometers away from Sun. On 16-12, Galileo incorrectly records Neptune as fixed but later this ice giant located through mathematical predictions. Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft that visits two ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. These images were taken by NASA of Neptune. Although scientists consider this as dwarf planet, Pluto is the farthest from the Sun with a distance of about 5.9 billion kilometers away. Pluto is a dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt. There is only one mission to the Pluto, that is New Horizons. New Horizons were the first spacecraft to explore Pluto and its five moons, and these are the photos that New Horizons took. Pluto is the only one so far away that we have explored up close, but the solar system does not end here. Yes, our planet ends up to Neptune, then after that begins the small planets or dwarf planets. After Pluto, there are five discovered dwarf planets, known as Eris, Ceres, Mekmek, and Haumea, but according to the IAU, Maybe there are many more dwarf planets out there that we haven't discovered yet. According to them, there are maybe not only 5, but 100 more dwarf planets. Very little sunlight reaches this far, so detection is a little tricky. We still don't know where our solar system ends. If you love space, then subscribe this channel. You can also check my other channel. The link is given in the description. Until then, check this out. Scientists have found the most habitable planet after Earth, and some astronomical events you will miss.